Time now for News Extra here on k and It's 751 and 59 degrees. Brought to you by First State Bank, Scott's Bluff and Gehring. We are pleased to welcome to the program Dr. Jeff Bradshaw, University of Nebraska, Panhandle Research and Extension Center. It wears a lot of hats these days. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell us about this uh, summer project with students from Rwanda. Right. The College of Agricultural Science and Natural Resources at the University of Nebraska has been hosting, uh, they have a program called the um, Kasner Undergraduate Scholars Program. And in that program, uh, they have, um, I think, around 150 students, uh, Rwandan scholars from Rwanda that are participating in that program. And uh, we past couple years we've been the recipients of a couple groups of that student uh, a couple groups of those students and the summer has been a fairly unique one Mm -hmm. so how many students we have the half dozen well we've got two different cohorts so we've got an earlier group of students of around 13 and uh, Lex Larson has been helping uh, coach those students throughout this their four-week experience uh, taking them around to different industries and uh, ranches and whatnot in the area and then we have a, um, um, another group of five students that have been working um, basically uh, job shadowing uh, specialists at the center for nine weeks. And this will be the last week that they're here before they all go back to Rwanda for a month on a little vacation before the regular semester. Mm. So they're studying on campus in Lincoln then during the, the fall and spring semesters? Yeah, it's part of an undergraduate program. Uh, so they have a three-year program uh, that focuses on um, agriculture and leadership and some other life skills. And after that three-year period, they go back to Rwanda and they have a one-year internship they do and um, that they do in-country. And from there, um, they just go on with their careers. And they have a broad spectrum of interests uh, and they're learning as they learning as they go about what they want to do in life. So then in the summer, they spread out to the various places in Nebraska then? Yeah, so uh, the other students, uh, there are, I think around 50 or so went to um, NCTA, uh, and they've had um, their kind of first internship experience there. Uh, and we have some other students that have worked at other R&E centers. And then of course, uh, a number of those students have remained on campus to work in various labs. Mm-hmm. So uh, what are the students learning about here in western Nebraska? Is this, does our agriculture or our climate or soils or anything compare to what they have in Rwanda, or is it just like, luck it that depends. they come here? Yeah, yeah it depends, really. Uh, Rwanda is a small country with a lot of people uh, and a very diverse uh, landscape. So they have volcanoes and mountains, uh, the largest rainforest in Africa, uh, but then they also that have... That all sounds a little different than here. That sounds different, <laughs> definitely. Uh, but they also have a lot of dry land. And some of the dry land and irrigated acres are very similar. Uh, they grow a fair number of dry beans, uh, potatoes, and other crops. Uh, and our focus uh, with Rwanda really has been on improving their local agricultural systems. Uh, the anonymous donor that's funding the project uh, really believes that they could be a breadbasket for that region and improve food security. And so some of the things that they're learning at the Research and Extension Center this summer, uh, particularly those five um, uh, students that have been here a bit longer, they're working with plant pathology, animology. Um, They've had some dry land cropping systems experience uh, as well as soils and irrigation. So they're hoping to take those tools that they learned from the specialists at the center and um, deploy them in various ways when they go back to Rwanda. Well, that sounds a little more familiar, that part of it, for sure. We're with Jeff Bradshaw from the University Research and Extension Center. We'll be right back on News Extra. At First State Bank, we get it. Your life is busy and your time is valuable. So we have taken one to-do off of your list. We now offer mobile deposit capture of your checks within our mobile banking app. No more stops at the bank to make that deposit. Just endorse, click, deposit, and voila, done. It is that quick. Another reason when we say we're big on you, we mean it. First State Bank, member FDIC.
Robin News Extra program, and we're visiting with Dr. Jeff Rodshaw from the University of Nebraska Panhandle Research and Extension Center, and uh, visiting about these uh, visiting uh, scholars from uh, Rwanda. And uh, as this program continues, will you get more of these students then next year as well? Yeah, we plan on uh, hopefully getting more students next year. Um, they may align with different specialties. Um, their um, the expertise that they come with and their focus currently, uh, much of it is uh, conservation, ag, business, or leadership. And um, so different elements of those they get from uh, working with specialists. So uh, we'll, we're looking forward to having more of those students come out and, um, and seeing what we can do with them. Now, is the, the new student housing units, are they coming into play with this this year? Yeah, so uh, the new student housing that we have at the Research and Extension Center uh, is fully occupied at the moment and uh, with graduate students. Uh, and then actually one of the units is, is full uh, with five um, uh, Rwandan students that have been working with specialists this summer. And so, yeah, that's an important strategic part of why we have that housing so we can be uh, the best hosts uh, we can for these international scholars that come to work with us. Otherwise, how they... Do you house with families, or how does that work if you don't have room at, uh, on campus? Right. So uh, the challenge that we've had regarding housing um, is we have to uh, find resources in the community, places for students to stay. This summer, before we had the housing, uh, they stayed at WCC dorms, and that, that worked pretty well. And, in fact, the 13 uh, four-week students that are here are staying, have been staying at the WCC dorms, and that's worked out pretty well. Uh, having them on site has definitely shortened their distance between their living space and working space, and that certainly is a benefit to them and us, um, as well as our graduate students. How about socialization and uh, just learning community life here? It's got to be a world apart. Really good question. Uh, all of the students, those uh, nine-week students, are all paired up with um, people in the community, host families. Uh, we have uh, a number of host families that have reached out, and on the weekends, a lot of these students, um, you know, they come with various backgrounds. Uh, most of them, I believe, are from Christian denominations, and they've all um, found host families that will take them to church on the weekend, but they've also gone out to different fun events, either in, in uh, Wyoming and Colorado and, and here in the Panhandle region. And uh, I've been really impressed with how our host families have reached out, continue to reach out to all the students, um, welcome them into their home, and in fact, this week we're going to have a little bit of a, a barbecue um, on Wednesday evening to kind of say goodbye for the summer. Mm, great. Well, that's part of that community and university interlock that goes on, and that's an important part of our Absolutely. Program. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming by and being with us this morning. Appreciate it. My pleasure. I know you had to hustle to get here this morning, so we <laughs> appreciate you putting it in uh, in high gear legally. That's Jeff Bradshaw. That's our program this morning.